Hi, I'm Belinda Sunshine. Welcome to When We Were Young, a program highlighting musicians of yesteryear. And for this week, something very special. So you better keep on watching. It's a special tribute for Jimmy Chan. Born in 1941, piano maestro Jimmy Chan has always been passionate about what he loves, music. Being musically inclined since young, Jimmy played the guitar and the Chinese flute before the piano at the budding age of 13. His natural flair for the piano became evident when he could play without any musical scores, regardless of the genre. However, before pursuing his dreams in music, Jimmy worked in Li Hua Bank in Singapore. Keeping music as a hobby, he joined a popular band called The Flamingos. He also accompanied Robert Song in the vocal group called The Gay Lads and played with another band called The Trailers. Eventually, Jimmy left his banking job to join an iconic Singapore band named The Quests for a performance contract in Hong Kong in 1968. It was there where he had the opportunity to play for renowned singers like the late Teresa Ting. After that, he left the Quests in 1974 before joining Mandarin Hotel as a solo artist for two decades. Having done vinyl recordings, CDs, cassettes, and live performances, Jimmy's music career was very active and illustrious. He even released his own Chinese album in 1979 entitled Chinese Favorites. Beyond that, Jimmy was also known to be a compassionate man, performing at various elderly homes and charitable events like Peace Haven Nursing Home and the Marine Parade Fu Hai Elderly Lodge, which was graced by former Prime Minister Go Chok Tong. He has even met former Malaysian PM Dr Mahathir in Penang, where Jimmy performed. Jimmy will eventually have his last stage appearance in the 2019 concert with the band Silver Strings for their 55th anniversary at the RELC Hotel. Jimmy continues to mesmerize his audiences like no piano man can. After his passing, a tribute concert was held to honor him at the Serangoon Gardens Country Club. Because I think we all can confess that we love Jimmy Chan, right? <laughs> Tickets were quickly sold out. Beyond that, more than 10 groups of musicians rallied their support by performing free of charge. He was a legend and definitely one of the finest among Singapore's musicians. With his passing, he leaves behind a rich musical legacy and a beautiful family. Join us tonight as we pay tribute to Jimmy Chan in this episode of When We Were Young. And in our studio, I have four very special persons. Let me first of all introduce you to the lady who rules the life of the man she loves, the late Jimmy Chan. Sandy. Hi. Hi, Sandy. So nice to have you in our studio, I know. Sandy, by the way, is a grandmother and she's also a wonderful and beautiful wife to Jimmy Chan. And next to Sandy, we have a very well-known musician. I'm sure all of you know him as the one and only Danny Ko. Danny often plays with the late Jimmy Chan. He's also an old neighbor of Jimmy and 
a very good friend indeed. And behind them, well, I've got good-looking Larry Lai. Now, Larry, as you know, is a very well-known TV personality and also radio DJ. In fact, he and Danny went a long way, way back, I think when they were only like seven or eight years old. Close friends indeed. And indeed, he's always been a loyal friend. That's Larry for you. And next to Larry, hi, that is right, Dennis. <laughs> Now, Dennis actually calls Jimmy brother. Yeah, what was the name you gave him in Cantonese? Tai Lo. Ah, Tai Lo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> big brother. Now, Dennis also is a very close friend of Jimmy. And you know that they were always together giving charity concerts and shows in this group, which they call themselves Give Joy. So you can see, you know, all my four friends here, they are all so close to Jimmy and their lives have been touched. I'm sure all of you have got fond memories of Jimmy. Perhaps starting with you, Sandy. Sure. Yeah. Would you like to share with us? Okay. Jimmy, he don't drive, so I'm his driver. <laughs> oh, okay. And he, during his work, he drinks. A uh, customer will buy him drinks, but I don't drink. So we make a very good partner. Uh. He drinks, I drive. Ah, uh, that's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, when he's sick, I'm his nurse. Wow. <laughs> that shows you yeah. are a lovely mother and wife to him. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And I'm sure your children would have loved him, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, because yeah. you've got three grandchildren, two yes. boys, one girl, and then your yeah. daughter. Yeah. I'm sure he dotes on his children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are very close. Yeah. Um, She's getting emotional. I know. Yeah. No, not to worry. <laughs> we are, we're all with you. Yeah. yeah. And Danny, you know, what fond memories do you have? Oh, Jimmy is a good, long time friend. I met him in the 70s. Okay. Actually, we are neighbors. We stay mm. next door to each other. Oh, yeah, we where are, about? We bought the apartment in the Chancery Court that was in the se ah, 70s. You know, okay. and uh, it's next door, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, right in front of us was also a, a director, a music director, <coughs> or she works for television, <coughs> Andrea. Andrew Chiu. Andrew Chiu. I want to pass away too, yes. recently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, music is our passion. And Jimmy and we, we It's used in to your blood, in his music. blood, and everybody yeah. who loves music. Yeah. Mm. And what about Larry? Larry, I understand that you knew him when you were like, what, seven year olds? Yeah, right. I think from 1947, 48, <laughs> when, we, when we were in primary school. We actually were classmates all the way from primary one mm. right up to secondary four. What school was that? Utrun. Uh, well, we started with Post Hill uh, Primary School. Then from there, we went on to Utrun Secondary School. Mm. And that was up to the end of our educational career. Mm. So we were, well, we were not just classmates. We, we lived very close to each other, so like one street away, you know. So uh, in those early youthful days, we spent more time together than anything else. We mm. saw each other practically every day. Ooh. Yeah. And what do you all do when you get together? Uh, <laughs> well, music would be one. Okay. Yeah, he's always been keen on music, and we'd always get together and talk about the latest pop songs that we hear. And uh, we sort of challenge ourselves to get the lyrics, to see oh. who gets the lyrics first. first. And that's how we practiced our shorthand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really, we, we, we were close to each other. Uh, I lived in Engwat Street. He lived in Tiongpo Road. So oh. really, just one end of the street to the other. And we walked to school together, yeah. walked back. Mm. And then after lunch, he probably, you know, uh, spend some time with his music 
uh, he played the guitar then. Yeah. And um, the flute too? No, not quite the flute. He 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 couldn't sing with the flute. <laughs> okay, 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 with the guitar. Okay. So you know, we used to sit down. That's a field behind his his flat, mm -hmm. and uh, we just you know he would strum his guitar and we would sing along all the popular hits of the day. But do you know when exactly did he switch to the piano? I'm not sure. The piano is not something you carry around, so mm. I wouldn't know. It's probably in his house. Exactly when he started on the piano, I'm not sure. And now let's turn to Dennis. How yes. did you get to know him so well? And any fond memories? I'm sure you do have. Um, I was introduced to Jimmy by another late musician friend of ours, Johnny Lim. Uh, at age 22, I was patronizing the Mandarin Orchard, listening to the band downstairs, and then Jimmy would be playing at the mezzanine. And after I was introduced, I used to go up there and sit next to him while he was playing the piano. And he would turn around and look at me and say, who's the young punk who's then disturbing me <laughs> when I'm playing the piano? Uh, I guess he got used to me, because today, or rather, you know, as we move along, um, we became very good friends, buddies, and like you said earlier, I call him Tai Lo. Tai Lo. Oh, Tai Lo. Okay, yes. Tai Lo. Okay. <laughs> yes. okay. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, those were the nice memories of the early days. Then subsequent ones are the ones that we will go and play and sing uh, at all the old folks' homes that we that mm. he would tingle along and then we would all sing along. Yeah. So, he what, did days. he spearhead this... Uh, a so-called, what do you call that? You wouldn't call it a movement, but or is it a club group. or yeah, give joy group? Uh, I believe it was when there was a break between mm. work at the Mandarin. I think okay. Mandarin, Marina Mandarin was going through uh, some renovation. Mm. Then he, he he just wanted to, to, to keep his fingers moving. Oh, I see. So he decided, let's go and entertain some old folks. Ah. Mm. One of our friends, N, N Co, uh, was a grassroots over at Marine Parade. And she was the one who says, hey, there's this elderly uh, lodge, which is like a daycare for old folks. Uh, why don't we just go there and why don't you go there and enter entertain them? And that's where Jimmy started only with him playing the piano and Sandy mm -hmm. dancing around. <laughs> wow, Sandy, wow, you do have talents too. Good, and then okay. Later on, he says, why don't we get some people to come and sing along? Mm. And that's where we started to get a group of ladies to come together and sing. And that's how Give Joy Give Joy started. came about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, you know, Jimmy, you know, has been in the music business and spends 50 years. That's a real long time. Mm. Now, uh, perhaps Danny, you know, you being a musician, you know, exactly when did his musical career, you know, take off, you know? I heard he was in Hong Kong for for a while. You know, he was with the um, the Quest. The Quest, yeah. Mm -hmm. and okay. Before that, I don't know. There's, there's another group. So when he came back from Hong Kong, he started the the Mandarin, the one Mandarin Orchard. Orchard. Yeah, that's how I I went to see him. He was playing at the Mezzanine Lounge. Mm -hmm. We became good friends, and then at that time we would decide we were just chit chatting, and I said, hey. I heard there's an apartment for sale, HUDC, the one that the uh, Chancery Court. So I said, why don't we buy it together? You can, oh. you know, so that's just, how you became neighbours? Yes, mm -hmm. next mm -hmm. door, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Larry, were you involved at time with him when he was in Hong Kong? Because No, not in Hong Kong. One day he came by to the studio because he was going to be playing uh, for one of our programmes. I think it was our... Rediffusion Discoveries. It's a kind of a talent time show. And he was um, playing the piano for all the auditionees. Uh, just happened the day uh, that our friend Charlie Cole from the States was in town. He heard Jimmy and said, Hey, this guy is good. And he went and I introduced the two of them. And immediately, Charlie said, would you like to be in our group? Jimmy asked, what group is that? He said, well, we call ourselves the Flamingos. Ah, okay. 
So that's when he started with the flamingos. But at that time, I suppose, Dennis, you were not in the picture. I am right? too young then. You're too young then. <laughs> oh, I know. So you are the youngest among all of us. Of course. Oh my God. <laughs> but I heard stories more than uh, just to add on what you said about yeah. Hong Kong. Uh, after the quest uh, came back, uh, he stayed on, mm -hmm. and he actually played in a band called the Lotus. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I see. And the Lotus. The front, the, the, the main singer is Samuel Hui. Oh, the yeah. Hong Kong yes. singer, Samuel Hui. Okay, and? Uh, and I think he stayed on for a year or, or two before then he came back to Singapore. Mm -hmm. But that was, was something that he, he did share with us fondly before, oh. that Sam was with him. But I know he has recorded uh, songs with, uh, what's her name, the late Teresa Tang. Yeah. Yes. Mm. A few of the uh, old singer like Choi Siu Fong, you know? Choi Siu Fong also. Yes, yeah. So actually, you know, he really had a good time, you know, when he was in Hong Kong after the quest. He met up with all these well-known celebrities. Mm. Ah, that's how his career took off and became really popular. And then when he came back to Singapore, he was playing at the Mandarin Hotel for 20 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a really long time. Mm -hmm. you know? I know the four of you, you know, I mean, uh, he has touched all your lives, you know, in different ways, you know, mm -hmm. and in different capacities too, you know, like you as a DJ, you, you know, as a friend, and you were also in some kind of business yourself, right, Dennis? Uh... <laughs> Am I I'm right? not. I, well, it's it's <laughs> it's a business, but it's also a personal business. I'm oh. in the insurance industry, so it's it's okay. a, it's a self uh, what do you call employed business. Mm -mm. Okay, and then Danny, you know, as a musician, you know, I mean, what is it like? <coughs> you know, I mean, on all these different capacities, like you know, Jimmy is to all of you. See, Jimmy is more. Um, he's got very good ears. Okay, he can play without without reading any notes. And it picks up so fast. So the two of us blend together. Mm. And usually I ask him because he's more inclined to Chinese music. Yep. So when I'm not used to it, I'll just call him, hey, Jim, you know this melody? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you. And then he writes out one, <laughs> two, three, you know, and he just pass it over to me. Okay. So he's more inclined to the, the Mandarin side. And I always look up mm. to him and say, well, this Chinese music, I always ask him first. Because mm. yeah, there are other other musicians, but I think he's more right above all of them. You know. mm -mm. But I think he won an award, you know, for the Chinese albums that he recorded. Am I oh, right, yes, Sandy? Yeah. Mm. yeah. You want to say something about that? The time he's with the uh, WEA Recording Company, okay. mm -hmm. so he played the most popular, uh, like Shanghai Tan, those, ah, those songs. The okay. only thing is, Jimmy, he don't read Mandarin, he don't speak Mandarin, he don't read Chinese. But oh. it's popular in Chinese song. Yeah. Yeah. How did he manage that? Yeah. He, were, he had to listen to those uh, original singers who sing in a, uh, that time is cassette, you know, cassette mm -hmm. tape. Uh, it must be original. So he listened to those singers, how they express a song. Oh, then, yes. then he put in his feeling. Mm. In I the see. Song. So it's yeah. actually by ear. By ear. It picks yeah. up very fast. Yeah. Very fast. That means he's really brilliant, huh? Mm. What an awesome person. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Larry, mm. I heard that once you had a singing session with him and you sang the song April Love. Ah. <laughs> April Love. Can you remember that? <laughs> oh, yes. He's always asking me to sing along, but I, I'm rather shy about singing in public. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Then what? You're not going to cut a record and sing April Love? <laughs> oh, no. Well, that or the other Pat Boone song, um, mm -hmm. Love Letters in, in the, the Sand, sand is yeah. always getting ah. me to try and sing that. <laughs> I see. He's the Pat Boone of Singapore. Nah. <laughs> He's got a lovely voice. We all loved him when he was on radio. <coughs> and then when he was on TV too, you know, he wooed the hearts of many Girls. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. You know, now being married to one a musician, what is life like for you? Well, uh, I enjoy it with him because okay. he play nice music. That's how I, I don't mind to follow him around. You know, romantic music. Yeah, <laughs> because of the music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Every day I'll send him to work. I'll stay there until he's finished work. Ah. Uh, I enjoy mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about your daughter? She she's a teacher, mm -hmm. but then uh she seldom get involved with the the music. Part yeah, part yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what about your grandchildren, your two boys and the girl? Uh, my, the youngest grandson in Australia, he picked up piano, but through YouTube. Okay. But his type of music is different from the grandfather. Okay. He play all the Star Wars songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's different. But of course, the grandfather would tell him... Uh, the courts and all that, then he I would pick see. up from there. Yeah. I see. Oh, but yeah. Jimmy is yeah. one thing, when, when there's invited to anybody's house, mm -hmm. when there's a piano, yeah. he his was fingers get itchy and then he was going yeah. to play. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful part of, it, of him is when he plays, he doesn't want to stop. He'll keep oh. on playing. He can play for one, two hours, you know, without stopping. And we have to tell him, hey, take a break, take a break. <laughs> you know? have, your, uh -huh. have your dinner or whatever. He mm -hmm. enjoys playing. Mm -hmm. So when we are together, sometimes we take turns, you know. I go to Mandarin once in a while, ask him to jam, and you know. Mm -hmm. We play together without even rehearsing. Mm -hmm. Just sit down. So we ask him. So actually, it was more than a hobby for him, yeah. right? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. But he, he enjoys innate. music. Yeah, it comes yeah. on, you know. Mm. He wow. don't. He doesn't get tired just playing. Mm -hmm. Same. Both of us, you can sit down and play for hours. Whereas other musicians. And you go for a function, it's 45 minutes, mm -hmm. then you look at each other, look at the time, time to stop. But we don't stop. We play till we get tired. <laughs> okay. You know? okay. Imagine, sometimes two hours mm. is a stretch, two and a half hours. Okay. Then you offer us drinks, then you practically just drink and play. So they says, hey, you're not stopping us. We'll mm. stop when we get tired. Yeah. He's a very kind person that mm. I know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, and the friends knows when to fuel it. Yeah. Really? There'll always be the whiskey on his table then when he's still oh, able to drink. <laughs> yeah, like she says, you know, he will drink but she won't drink. Mm. <laughs> okay. I know how I wish. But never mind. He's gone to a place where we enjoy and he will continue playing the music that he loves, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? I'm sure all of you will do that. Yeah. But never mind, there's certain things we want to find out from you. It's like, how do you get into charity work? Um... Yeah, uh, like I said earlier, we all started at the Fuhai Elderly Lodge, yep. which is in Marine Parade. Crescent. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it is it was uh, our ex PM's Gu uh, Chaktong's ward. Mm -hmm. So occasionally he will just come by during his walkabout and so forth, and he will pop in and so and, and, and listen to us playing uh, when we were we happened to be there. Um, one day the piano was going off and then we decided to tell Mr. Go, sir, the piano is not really functioning, not doing Jimmy justice. He said, okay, go and get a new one. So he bought one and, we, and, and it was there. And it's still there because uh, ah. Jimmy hasn't been back to play. So the piano is still there at the Elderly Lodge. So awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. And then when you musicians heard about his illness, you know, I mean, what was it like, you know? What was the reaction from many of the musicians? Were they caught by surprise? I think usually musicians, that's one uh, vice which we do is we drink and we smoke. So I think that's the trouble when, you know. But after a while, we find out that, I think Jimmy gave us smoking after a while. Right? Mm. He gave up yeah. during year 2000. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Then, uh, you know, this tribute concert that you had, the idea, yeah, when did this come about? Um, okay, we, the, in the Give Joy group, there's uh, a, a, a lady, very vocal, Yvonne, who have always wanted to, Jimmy, let's put the concert together, you know, let's entertain more people, let's do it at the Esplanade. And Jimmy will always turn it down. You know, Jimmy says, "No, no, no, no I, I don't like to do all this thing." Mm -hmm. uh, but when he was admitted into the hospital uh, in April because he had a fall, um, we decided that I think we should try and put this into fruition, and we sort of encourage him and says, "Look, let, let, let's do it. You know, just just for fun." and see how, how it goes out. Uh, and then 
his condition got a bit worse, and that was when we decided to push it up. Right? The first person I called was Larry. Okay. Because there was a musician, music lovers chat that Larry was in, that we were in, that has got a lot of musicians in there. Mm -hmm. And I told him, hey, you know, that's what we would like to do. And Larry just flew into it and just let's send a text to all the musicians and get them involved. So that's how it got started in that sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so happy that so many groups wanted to be part and parcel of the oh, show, yeah. right, uh, Larry? Yeah, we had yeah. to turn away some others, you know, because we just didn't have the time. Mm. Uh, we planned, actually we planned the party to be a very small gathering yeah. of about a hundred friends, uh, you know, in a small room. What's got but, out? Word got out, the <laughs> yeah. whole thing exploded, and yeah. you know, we were inundated with requests. Um, so, in the end, we had to go for a bigger room, mm -hmm. and we had a, nearly 300 people yep. in the audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I remember that night, you know, I mean, wow, just emotional outbursts <sighs> yes. from the audience, the guests, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the people who were playing, you know, wow, it was really so overpowering. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure all of you were really touched emotionally, it was I'm a sure too. Memorable time. Yeah, it was. Four and a half solid hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you all feel happy. Yeah. And at the same time too, Sandy, how did you feel on that day, that night itself? So happy. I have to thank all the musicians yeah, who support this concert, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure you must be very happy mm -hmm. up there. You yeah. know, looking down. These are my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the last song by Trevor, right? Yeah. Uh, was it? Uh, With was Michelle it? too. Yeah. yeah. They, they sang about, you know, uh, it's good to have a friend. Yeah. yeah. That's what friends are for. That's right. <laughs> Correct. Okay, now, you know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, how will his musical legacy, you know, be passed on? Well, his music is all over the internet, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So as you say, you know, the internet is infinite. It's perpetual. It's uh, forever. So it, his music will live on mm -hmm. forever and ever. Correct. And Dennis also, I think prior to this meeting we had, you shared with me that, you know, you had this friend of his, a partner mm -hmm. of his, who wanted to do a musical. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, firstly, um, for Give Joy, we will continue to try and bring um, you know, joy to the old folks. We'll be using a lot of Jimmy's original music. Okay. Because every time he plays the piano, whether it's live or on a CD, it's exactly the same. So we will be using those to sing at, at, at the different events, mm -hmm. at the different uh, locations. As for the musical, um, his friend... Uh, Wang Liang Tun. Okay. Uh, he and Jimmy had um, composed and actually put some 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 fourteen songs together. Uh, Jimmy had put his touch to it, his his arrangements, mm -hmm. um, and they had actually started to recruit musicians to come up and sing in this play, this musical. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, Jimmy couldn't continue with it. Uh, mm -hmm. But I understand Atun would continue and he oh, wants good. to do it. So we, we we don't know when it's going to really come out, but mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll all be looking forward to the musical, correct? <laughs> yes, I hope yeah. so too. All right, uh, now finally, you know, I mean, how will you guys remember him? Just very quickly, like Danny, how would you remember? Oh, we used to, we, I, I miss the time we play together on you know, the wet. Because I think he and me, we gel together. Because cool. I play with so many pianists, but it just doesn't gel. I can mm -hmm. sit down with him and say, okay, what song you want to do? He mentioned the song, I says, okay, what key are you going to play? <coughs> That's it, we shoot. We just one, two, three, four, and then we play. Cool. We yeah. don't rehearse, we never rehearse. Okay. Then what yeah. about you, Larry? Me? Well, I'll always remember Jimmy as one of my closest and oldest friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we grew up together, so... You know, half of my childhood is with him. So I really, really appreciate him as a person, as a friend, 
and also for his music. Mm. His music will live on in me cool. forever. Yeah, I'm sure. And then Dennis? Uh, I'm a foodie. Okay. So every time yeah. Jimmy goes, gets invited to play at friends' house and so forth where there's good food, I get eat. invited. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, right. so that's the perk of being his okay. silo, you know. Okay, oh, yeah. silo, okay. Silo. Mm. Good, yes. good. And then what about you, you know, Sandy? Well, everything to me is, um, I remember him. We do everything together. Mm. Uh, if we find out any place that's good food, I'll drive him there. Mm. Any food court or any mm. part of Singapore that's mm. good mm. food, that's right. Cool. This yeah. love that both of you shared. Yes, yeah. most yeah. of the time. Yeah. Mm. Well, I must say, you know, it's such an interesting chat with the four of you. How mm. I wish we can continue, you know, I mean, yes. talking about it. But it's really an honour to have you guys here and also Sandy, you know, here. And I thank you very much for sharing and opening your thoughts, sharing them, your memories too, with all of us and with the viewers out there on YouTube. Yes. Thank you very much. You. So, you. ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed what you have seen. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. All right? And write those comments that you feel you want to share. So, I'd like to thank Sandy Chan, Danny Ko, Dennis Chia, and Larry Lai. So, shall we all say goodbye to when we were young? Goodbye. Okay, bye. Cool. <laughs> and before we go off, now, you just said that you have got this rapport with Jimmy and you play so well whenever you are doing a duet. Would you like to share one of those recorded duets that you have done, Jimmy? Here's a, here's a fun song here. It's taken it? from the, the cartoon uh, Flintstone. Oh, Flintstone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So, we're going to watch that in a while. All right, then. Hit it. <laughs>